Ok, we are live. Live, 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 live. Ok, so let's go and copy this. And we are here. Now let's open it on next. <laughs> so we will wait for people to join and uh, until then I can set it up. <clears throat> so first of all, camera is added and I need to add my screen. StreamYard is not doing things. I'm not pro at a StreamYard. I got it with, uh, when I saw on uh, Francisco's live, so StreamYard is good. Streamlabs, not Yard, Stream laps laps okay so if you are here don't forget to say hello and hi on the chat because once we are ready we will go and start so can you listen me just let me know in the comment section can you listen me okay so as i said just let me know if you can listen me and Raju is here. Hey Raju, how are you? Where are you from Raju? Okay, so we are having great people and uh, as you know the live rule for here, I always say like, yes, this live is only going to possible if you are going to support me. You need to support me by hitting the like button. So hit the like button really, really hard. And if you are not a subscriber to Bitfumes, just go and hit subscribe button because here we are going to do a lot of fun stuffs and a lot of musty and a lot of coding as well. So Raju says, uh, Raju is from Hyderabad. Nice to meet you, Raju. This is, I think the first time we are chatting and you are live here. That's great, that's great. So, uh, what I'm going to do, yes, I need to share this live everywhere. So, I will get the link first on the Instagram. So, I'll go on the Instagram, create one and say that, uh, um, Hey, I am live on Bitfumes YouTube channel and talking about the Nuxt.js. If you want to join, just click the link here. Okay. That's great. So I'm going to add the link here. So link is this. No, not that link. I need to copy and paste it properly. So it's not copying from my MacBook. That's bad. So yes, we will, we will be king. Ding, 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 ding. So I can copy paste here copy and then do the pasting while people are joining hey guys you need to just make sure you hit the like button because we are going to start soon once i share it everywhere and the problem i can see is hey it's raining outside it's raining 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 yay i got the link and now i say uh, Nuxt.js, uh, exploring Nuxt.js is exploring, X, 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 exploring Nuxt.js. Okay, so link is added and please go to Sarthak Sevi. This is, see, this is the one which I am doing, sharing on my Instagram. So make sure you are going to Hit the follow there. How do I edit this? I just did it wrong. This live is going to be delayed. Why? Because I am not good at sharing content on Instagram. <laughs> Exploring Nuxt.js. Is this right? Now, please check. This is right. Exploring Nuxt.js. Okay. That's great and uh, let's share it here. Okay, so we are live here and we are going to start right now. And uh, let's see.
Great, that's really nice. We are, we are good. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Yes. Okay, so since it's done on Instagram, we are live from this camera watching here and people if you are if you are watching just comment on this and don't forget to hit like because we are going to start very soon what next what next what next so yes we are done with this now sharing this on twitter so i'll open the twitter and i'll say hey i am live on Bitfumes YouTube channel and exploring Nux.js. Maybe I can tag the Nux.js. Nux.js. Hey, Nux.js. Where is Nux.js? Anyways, they don't have it. They don't have it. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Okay, so adding the image and then the link and copy. Go to threads copy paste go to linkedin copy and paste with the image also yep we are here great yay now let's go time to do the real thing okay how are you dear bhaijan so uh Shafiq Islam says, I'm really good. I'm really happy that Shafiq, you are here. And guys, you know the rule. If you want to make me happy by just hitting the like button. So when we reach 10 like, I'll do one free membership to this live and live stream. And that's the rule says the first free membership will be done when we reach 10 likes so just hit the like button and then we will go and start anyways so we are here to explore next if you haven't watched the previous live where i actually explored the next years from scratch maybe i can give you the link so here's the live so go to bitfumes channel and here is the like button uh, not like button <laughs> here is the video called exploring nux.js from scratch that's cool that's cool and i should start the monetization i need money <laughs> so that i can give it away in the form of membership it's not like i'm hungry for money although i am <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways so let's get back so we have done a lot of things so for those of you who are new to this stream this live stream i would just give you a overview of what Nuxt.js is, what we have already done so that everyone will be at the same level. Okay, so we are still on the two likes. So just hit like button, bro. Your help will make someone happy if I whenever I share one membership. Anyways, come back to Nuxt.js. Now, what is Nuxt.js? So Nuxt.js is a framework of Vue.js use a framework i think view is also a framework yeah and it's called meta framework so framework of framework now nuxt.js and uxt is kind of similar to next.js and ext.js of react so just like next.js and ext is a framework of react similar to that and uxt is the framework of vue.js and we are going to start with this and I started with uh, creating a new project so I can take you from getting started things. So I started by creating this, uh, using this command, creating new, um, new Nuxt application or project. Then after that, I checked out little configuration and in the configuration, some of the things are here. So enabling the dev tool and dev tool comes like this. So if you click here, see, this is the dev tool of Nuxt.js. It's not the Vue.js dev tool, guys. It's Nuxt.js dev tool, which is really awesome. I like it. Okay, so once we crossed the, once we understand a little bit of uh, configurations, it's not that we dig into that. Then we got into the views part. So you can see here we have, uh, I'm going to close everything. We have this app.view, which is the entry point for our uh, application. And in this, we just have two tags. One is Nuxt page, which enable 
this page based routing so you see we have two uh, pages called index page and about page and these two pages are going to help us navigating creating different different pages and similar to that we have the next layout which help us to make a layout which will be available to every pages now what that mean i can go here and you can see this purple color uh, nav bar we have where we have the home and about this is coming from this default um, default layout page this default layout page is here we have this nav and then we have a slot where this Nuxt.js pushes all the pages that's why if i click on about or if i click on home page it just changed the page not the uh, you can say not the nav bar and the one thing is to notice we are using Nuxt link to have a single page application kind of feel which is changing the component and the routing when we change the page so I can go here and take a look on the on the uh, address bar. It's going to change the page as well as the routing. So here you can see here we have the about. Here is the home about home. Also changing the title, and there is no reload of the page. So this is we did, and one more thing we did. We had actually installed tailwind css so we installed tailwind css it was really easy so everything will be available on this uh, uh, this live which i did in the morning today and now is the time to move forward guys yo we, we have rivash we have tanzim so i want membership <laughs> tanzim says i want membership hopefully if you are lucky tanzim you will going to get you had a brilliant Nuxt app with Laravel in in-depth Laravel. Wonder will it work with Next 10, uh, Laravel 10 and Nuxt 3? I would say it will work with Laravel 10 and also with Nuxt 3 because Nuxt 3 has no breaking changes. So it's having a lot of new things, but not at all. I'm not saying not at all, but not a big breaking change that can change your, uh, that can change your uh, um, code okay so now here what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to add a git commit so i'll say hey uh, live one is done okay maybe guys if you need the repository for this let me know i'll share it on uh, github so first youtube live um, poll so what is a poll poll means i'm going to ask you some question with some options you just need to hit the right answer or your suggestion and before moving forward i just want to see how many likes we have we have still two likes guys remember the rule once we reach 10 like when then i'm going oops <laughs> then i'm going to give away one membership or maybe we can do one membership on five let's see let's let's do at five so let's just just hit the like button so that i will share one free membership on this channel right now so we have four till now and one more and then i will give away and then uh, rivash says what is routing code show once where is routing code see there is no routing code so you need to enable the routing by adding where's that next page uh, next page just that's it you just add next page it enable the routing and then you need to create the pages directory and whatever the page you want just go ahead and create it that's so simple you don't have to manually uh, add the routing on configure the routing no need for that great i'm going to uh, ask one question and that the question is would you use uh, would you use nuxtjs in production ever have you used so, so have you ever used nuxjs in production so yes or no is the poll just uh one not one minute let's see for the five minute right now it's uh, 8 30 so for the five minute i'm going to have this poll just comment your views on this poll and then we will move forward 
Wait, we have six people watching right now and still four likes. People, what you're doing? Let me refresh. Wow, we have the five people, five likes, sorry, not the people, five likes there. And as promised, one membership is going to happen. And after this membership, we will start learning about Nuxt.js on, uh, on this YouTube live. By the way, sir, please do a bootstrap course. Uh, Mohammed Shafaf says, um, see, uh, bootstrap is becoming old thing. There are a lot of amazing things which is available. So maybe that thing, but I don't think bootstrap is that good. But if more people will ask, then sure, I will think about that. Uh, Tanzan says, I think we can do multi page app with Nux2. That's what I'm doing, I think. So good class, sir. <laughs> Did you know deployer package? Deployer package? I'm new to your channel. Uh, I am new to your channel. Your name, please. So see, uh, um, who's that? Mohammed. Mohammed Shafaf on the channel above. My name is written, which sorry, not at the above. Like on the bottom of the screen, you will see Sarthak is written. So that's my name. My name is Sarthak. You can call me Sarthak. That's my name, <laughs> simple. And don't forget to hit like button and subscribe. Since you are new to this channel, I would highly suggest you to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever I do any live or whenever I upload any video, you will be get notified. Thank you for that. And uh, Rivash says, I hate Tailwind. We're going to talk about this Rivash. I, this is not good. <laughs> did you clear any AWS examination? Yes, I did. I am, I am, I can say passed. <laughs> I passed the basic um, AWS developer, not not developer, cloud practitioner exam. Yes, I did that. Yay! I got one more subscriber, Mohammed Shafaf. Wait for more content. Thank you. Anyways, so as promised, here we go with the membership, and we will going to start it. Uh, 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 membership is good. Gifting membership, and here we go with one membership and I need to open my mobile to pay for it. And here we go. Scan the QR code and submit the pin. And we are done. Boom, see, that's done. Let's see who is going to get that. Who is going to get that? Okay, see one thing I have noticed on StreamYard, I think alert should be at the top, at the top, very top. And someone become member. So who is the Barco, Barco become member. And this alert should be more at the top. Great, I fix this and this is how I learn trying and doing things. Great, so one membership is done, yay! Now we will see, uh, next membership will go on the 15 like, or I say 20, 15 or 20. Let's see, let's see 15. Okay, so once we cross the 15 like, then we will do one more membership giveaway. And let's start, let's start. Okay, so we were here, we know about, yeah, the one more thing I forgot to share that component also is there. We can have a component directory in that we can create any component. We can use any component by importing it uh, where we have used it. We have not used, oh, we have used it. So app alert is the component, whatever component you create, you don't have to import it. Wow, that's super duper crazy stuff is Nuxt.js. You don't have to import anything. So on the home page, this hey is coming from this uh, uh, app alert uh, component I have created. Boom, boom. That's great, crazy, crazy stuff. Sir, tomorrow have a class. Which class, uh, Mohammed Shafaf? Uh, in Tailwind, you need to use too many classes. In Bootstrap, two classes is enough. In Tailwind, just we need Hmm. So I disagree with reverse with the with the statement of make it file heavy. I'll explain you how right now here in this uh, in this uh, live. I'm going to share and I'm going to try to convince you that Tailwind is really good. 
I'll give you the reasons. Okay. So we talked about the pages. We talked about how we can navigate through pages. And what next? Come the assert uh, assets. We already talked about the assets and that's how you can see this image is coming because I have the image in the asset directory and I linked it like this using asset sarthak.png. Okay. So Shafaf says, Sir, React in front-end development is a high-paying job. Uh, yes or no? For me, it's, it's a big yes. Yes, it's a high-paying job. And uh, you have to learn React. You need to learn React, I can say. Although Vue is really amazing, Nuxt is really powerful. It's all, all good, good, good thing for Vue and Nuxt. But React, you can't say, you can deny that it's really powerful and a lot of job available for React. No, no question, no question against it. Anyways, let's move forward. Next is the styling. So for the styling, we have added the Tailwind CSS. What next? Uh, single file component is styling. What is this single file component? Is? Let's just read it and see what that. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Uh, huh. So one of the best thing about view and single file component is how great it is in natural dealing with the styling and CSS. Okay, so basically single file component means in a single file, you are having the HTML, you are going to have the JavaScript, like all that script tag, and also the styling you can do. Anyways, let's say class and style binding. So you can bind the class and style. And this is the view three thing. Mm -hmm. So ref and reactive in a in a computed way in an array or in a style way a lot of information are given that's why i say like documentation is the king always 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 great so that's great that's great now dynamic style with v bind this is this is normal view stuff why we are looking into it using post css okay Okay, okay, okay. So a lot of package we have installed Tailwind. Cool. Routing, we only know that yes, we can create. Now, what next? I want to create a dynamic page. So let's create a page called blog. Not, not the folder. Blog slash ID dot view. And see what I did. I created a file with the angle brackets. It's very important and you can see it's given somewhere like this. Angle bracket then dot view. In this way, you will going to create a dynamic routing and what that dynamic routing means, um, blog post. See what's going to happen. If I go on the URL and I say, this is going to be a slash blog slash one. So see, I'm having blog post. If I say two, it's also having blog post, but what if we get the one or two from the URL and show it in the blog post? Hmm, that's going to be interesting. Let's see how we can do that. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So pages route parameter. This is the thing which I'm talking about route parameter. So we have to use this use route hook and then we get the route from the route. We find the params. Cool, cool. Copy that and Create a script tag. Generally in view three, we create the script tag above. Okay, so remove that. Now we need to import. Do we need to import it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it says console logged. So where is the console log? Hmm. Now two is available. See, this two is available. If I change this route to one, this become one. Nice, 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 everybody, great. Block post, and then I say route.params.id, params.id. Now remove this console log. Cool, how amazing it is, how amazing it is, really great. Okay, so let's 
move the focus and say durga is here durga prasad says hi hi durga prasad how are you and what you are learning right now please let me know so that we can discuss more about and that can help others who is live here on this live stream guys we are having 13 people and remember we said that when we cross 20 likes then we are going to give away free membership 20 likes right now you can see it's only 11 like 20 likes we will give i will give away one free membership for this channel and uh, i did one which were transferred to barco barco is now the member of uh, uh, you can say bitfumes membership he won so tanzim says the cloud devops go versus ai versus low level in rust which is better Hmm, that's a good question. Let me first see the poll. Poll says, have you used production, uh, uh, Nuxt in production? Very few people say uh, yes. So I'm going to end this poll and see what's the result. The so result is 33%, uh, 12 people might, means uh, almost four people says yes. So who are the four people? Who used Nuxt in production? Please tell me so that I can ask more question to you because I really want to know that uh, <clears throat> sorry because i really want to know that who is using and uh, what problems you are facing or not you are facing lol you said 15 likes now it's 20 oh sorry i said 15 sorry sorry bro i i have i really forgot see i need to do a lot of things i need to look into the camera code it re read the chat look into the likes look into the how many people are watching oh sorry sorry about that sorry 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 so <laughs> Let's let's go with the 15. Let's go with the 15. So how many like we have right now? It's still 11. We are four left. So we need more likes. We need more likes and then we will give free membership on 15. So Amos just reminded me that it's 15, not 20. Now Sanjay says hello. Uh, Sanjay says Sanjay Parmer. So hi Sanjay, how are you? I think uh, are you from are you from Bangalore, Sanjay? I'm guessing I we have talked ever. I don't know. Uh, it's fine. We hit the well done. <laughs> now, Rivaj says, I did not nuxt in, but view I had. Mm, yeah. Great, great Sanjay. So you are not that Sanjay. Sorry, Sanjay. Um, no, I'm from Ahmedabad. Great. No problem. So Ahmedabad. Great. I I was there in Ahmedabad for Laracon India uh, last year. That was great. Guys, it's still 11. Let's hit like button so that I can give away a free membership once we cross 15 likes. Hit the like button and let's continue here. Okay, so in the next years, we saw that how we can create a dynamic routing. <coughs> so I need water, I think. I don't have water here right now. Anyways, if I need it, I will get it. So you stay there. <laughs> okay. So let's go, uh, route parameter, we have done that. Now comes the route middleware. Hmm. So how do we create a middleware? So we need to create a middleware auth.ts, okay. So if is authenticated is false, then navigate to another URL. Okay, got it. Now home page, we define the middleware and give the name uh, whatever the middleware we want to provide. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let's see that. Let's try it. Let's try it down. So first of all, we need to create a directory called middleware. So middleware. And inside this middleware directory, we, en we need a auth.ts. And then inside that, I'm going to copy this code and see what this code is doing. Export default, define Nuxt middleware. Okay, this is the function has to be there. And to and from, to is from where, where is the target and from is like from wherever I'm coming. And right now we don't have any is authenticated logic. So right now, what if we say false, just false. Um, or maybe just a true. <laughs> so if user is hey what's this 
So what this means is if user is authenticated, navigate to navigate to login. No, I'll say if user is not. So let's see. Uh, const is authenticated is right now false. Okay. Now I say if is not authenticated, then navigate to login page. So let's create a so we do have the home page, this index. So let's add the middleware on the index. Script define middle middle middleware. Is this define middleware or use middleware? What's that? Define page meta. Oh my god. <laughs> so define page meta. And in that I'll say the middleware is auth middleware as a string because we are the name of the file as auth. Okay, so this means it should redirect me to login page and we don't have the login page. Let's see what it says. We are on the about page. Now if I go on the home page, yes, it's redirecting me to about uh, login page. Let's go and create a new page called login.view and create a template we say uh, a button log in and then it should be there great see see this wow now let's add the login button and move it on the right side so here we are and i need one more next link and that should be on the for the login page and we call it login but it should be on the right side. So maybe I can give class like uh, um, class. I have one thing. So see, uh, Rivash, this is what I'm talking. In Tailwind, you don't have to look into the doc documentation. You think and you write. So I'm writing like uh, this should be the flex and justify between. That's good. And now I will move this in a div, which is a container. And now another container for this one. So one thing, one div will be on the left, other on the right. Great. So login is here. Home, since we are not yet logged in, is here. So Rivash, I'm going to style this uh, login button and going to tell you how powerful the Tailwind is and why you are not using Tailwind. I'm also no, and I'm going to tell you right now. But let's look it here. So, uh, Amos says, I love your tutorial. Please user like, like, like. <laughs> Thank you, Amos. Thank you very much. Let's see how many likes we have. So it's still 12 like, bro. 15 like. We want the like so that I can provide the free membership to the people. Mm -hmm. That's really powerful thing. And some people are really, really um, good. They are coming to this live very often like Tanzim, Rivash and some of other people who are joining my live stream very very often and I really th thanks all these people who support me it's because because of you guys I will be become happy and I just uh, get motivation from you guys great two more two more like two more like and then we will go and uh, give away one more membership anyways let's read the read the comments or the chat so did you go to Sh shillong or shimla very beautiful place yes i last year i was in manali it's near to shimla or not near up more upside to the shimla and it's really really yeah you're right really awesome place next is good for seo yes next is really powerful for seo now praveen kumar hey praveen how are you praveen uh, nice to see you in this live and what is saying? Beautify or Tailwind? Which one is good to use in Next.js? Uh, I prefer Beautify because it's faster than Tailwind and has really awesome um, some of the things you don't need to configure. See, what I'm saying is why I like Beautify. I'm not against. I really love Tailwind. But I prefer Beautify over Tailwind because of the things of the JavaScript part, which already done with the beautify, like creating a model, it's already done. Creating a drop down animation is already done in beautify. So that's why I really like beautify 
it's really powerful really awesome and it's material design so always good some of the loading things so many of the things you don't have to design in Vue.js now Rivash, why I don't like beauty uh, uh, bootstrap because it's, it's still having old component I'm not against the concept of using bootstrap but it has to update their style they are still having that uh, red color orange color yellow color buttons no you have to be fancier you have to have a proper design updation with the trend still if you create a bootstrap uh, page everyone can say hey this is bootstrap page but not with beautify beautify is modern it's really modern anyways um next 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 so praveen was good so i i prefer beautify so let's have a, another poll and see who is going to win uh, which one you like and i'll say beautify and tailwind css and for for reverse for just for you bootstrap <laughs> just for you reverse so I've added this now just go and uh, let me know what's your thought on this poll and uh, until then I will read another and still 13 like I need 15 to give away the free membership and see so uh, Rivash was good now Sanjay says Sartha can you please accept my LinkedIn request I'd like to discuss with you few things so hmm so I need to accept it I need to accept so first of all uh, see Sanjay is there so Sanjay your connection is now accepted great 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 very nice and uh, let me know if you need any help by the way you can message me without like connecting it's not mandatory that you need to connect with me but it's good no issue so in next you need uh, you no need to configure everything yeah that's the power are you using docker container to deploy next uh, durga not right now i remember in the morning i have this in my note in my stickers so i will try this thing and then i will create the live or maybe create the video to use docker nuxjs with bun that's my challenge and i will try that live wire versus nuxjs always uh, no live wire i am a big supporter of live wire but a big no use of live wire why because i like javascript more i like javascript really uh, more on front end see on front end not the back end <laughs> now uh, tanzan says inertia live wire for monolithic api next inertia is always inertia is always good is linkedin premium worth it i have never never ever uh, got any single reason to subscribe to linkedin premium never ever i don't know why it is useful anyways so people 15 like one membership giveaway 14 is already done your job is to make it really really powerful so we are having 10 people watching i want more people so yes 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 look into your neighborhood share this live to more friends so that yes one they will understand about nuxjs having the chatting also can get the membership and guys if you're not a subscriber go and hit subscribe button so that we can have some amazing things in between us cool so i'm going to style this button so that we have a proper nice button so right now i'll say bg black okay so background is black text is obviously white and little rounded mm -hmm. and then have the padding 2 so maybe i would have the padding 2 on the x uh, sorry on the y and on the x i will have padding let's say 4 now padding 2 on the y will be like this looks good looks good now i'll make this at the center so this is flux um, flex not flux <laughs> flex and this is another div which should say margin auto cool and 
boom we are here now margin top of 10 yes it is at the center wow see this is this is really good so uh rivash considering why tailwind is good against uh, bootstrap so as i told you bootstrap is having is still having old style so let's see bootstrap even with a five uh maybe lara job india <laughs> Tanzim, i think you are really uh, going to push me to create a website called lara, lara job india <laughs> okay 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 Let's get into Bootstrap. See, Bootstrap is still using the old way of creating things. I can't see something new on that. Let's go to the buttons. Let's go to the buttons. It's still, it's still, even after so many years, they still have that same ugly, irritating colors on their buttons. Primary, secondary, light, dark is okay. Who uses exactly this flat ugly red yellow buttons that's my complaint with bootstrap why don't you give people flexibility why don't you create some nice animated buttons although that's not everywhere use useful but just just add some modern stuff bro why you are not adding? That's why Bootstrap is lagging behind any other. Now, considering this heaviness of this class, hmm, it would be good if I say BTN uh, black. Hmm, how about this? So this is what Rewash was saying. Like, if we have a lot of classes, then it become it feel like heavy. This button feels very heavy. But what if we have the BTN black? We can do this. How? We can go to the asset CSS main and we say, hey, I want to create a class called BTN black. And in that I want to apply all these rules. And see, this is this is powerful thing. This is why Tailwind is so great. In just few seconds, we are creating our own styling for our uh, for our application that's the power that's the power now we can use btn black how many times we want that's that's powerful thing whoa that's good now now what next since we have crossed we have just 15 i'm becoming hungry i want to hey one more subscriber durga prasad hey durga prasad haven't you subscribed that's not good that's not good durga that's not good. You have to subscribe. You have to subscribe. By the way, people, you can see now chat is showing there, but I want to make it little better. So it's not better. It should be uh, maybe a little bit like this. Okay. 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 Now we are good with the chats. So I can just make it full screen to see. Yes, it's good. Wow. Now let me uh, read some of the comments. Then I will, then I will uh, give away free membership. And after this 15, next target is 30. This time, yes, I want more like to give away one more free membership. Okay, so free membership is needed. Your support is required to hit the like button. Okay, today there will be a Tailwind UI giveaway. Tanzim, you want me to to empty my wallet? <laughs> okay, so Sayyid Akhtar says, looking for jobs, but not much high paying jobs that require Laravel. I agree, I agree, but I disagree then. See, uh, in Laravel, there is no high paying job for beginners. But if you are really master of Laravel, then there is no limit. I can say from my personal experience, plus the experience of my friends whom I know are getting really nice package as a Laravel developer. But only Laravel is not, not good. You need to be, you need to be more, I can say full stack kind of person. So need to know Vue.js, need to know Docker. If you have all these things, you're going to get really amazing job. 
Tailwind, Tailwind UI is awesome, but way too expensive. Now, Akhtar says one more, any suggestion where I can find good paying jobs in Laravel and should I change my stack? As I said, you don't have to change it. You don't, you just have to add your things on the stack. So add React, add Vue.js in your, in your stack. And for the jobs, I would say Lara jobs is good and go to the LinkedIn and connect with Laravel people top level people connect with them then you will find the real job and maybe if you just post that i'm looking for a job i'm having this much experience you're going to get the job finally okay so go to remote jobs in india and bangladesh php level jobs are way less paid which is best backend sorry which is your best backend stack node or Laravel. I still consider myself as a Laravel backend developer. So for La for backend Laravel, I use, I prefer. But uh, since now, right now, I'm trying to get more knowledge of different things. So maybe later I will say Laravel plus Node.js. So who knows? Who knows? So time for time for the giveaway of free membership we need more like because next live will be on the 30 likes next like <laughs> next free membership will be on the 30 like but now is the time for the free membership let's see who will going to get it so get my i'm getting my mobile scanning the qr code it's loading oh i got it now paying for this uh, membership and you see this is done and let's see who is going to get it huh so who is going to get it whoa ho, ho, ho. someone got it Bitfilm just gifted one membership and Sanjay Parmar. Hey, Sanjay. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Sanjay, you got this. Woo. Very nice. Very nice. Sanjay, congratulations uh, for this. You won free membership for Bitfilm's channel. And the benefit of membership is you are going to get early access to the videos behind the scenes and a special discount on my paid courses. Great. Now check out, let's, let me check this uh, poll I did. So most people are like Tailwind and f almost 50-50 kind of on Beautify and Bootstrap. I'm going to end it. And uh, Go is best for backend. Yeah, Go is also best. Uh, there are a lot of best thing, Python, Java. Anyways, my next question to you or my next poll is, have you subscribed to Bitfume's newsletter? Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed, subscribed to Bitfumes newsletter? Yes or no? Uh, what's that? Okay. So let me know in the comment section. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would highly recommend you. What I did? I shared something bad. No, not bad. <laughs> so. I am going to share by going into Bitfumes, going into the newsletter, copy the URL and paste it here. So people, if you, I got two newsletters last week. Yeah, last week was some mistake. So that was, uh, I, I send it one and then send it again. So it happened. <laughs> so yes, so people, if you are not a Bitfumes newsletter subscriber, go and subscribe to this newsletter. And if you subscribe right now, then I'm not going to do anything right now. No, nothing coming into my mind. Can you suggest something? What should I, what should I do with people who subscribe right now? So I'll go on Zoho dashboard, Zoho I'm using for sending the campaign. So I will see for the uh, email or maybe for the name and what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> so you got the answer, Tanzim, the question you asked. And guys, so this membership was uh, announced for uh, Sanjay. So Sanjay, congratulations once again. And next one will be when we reach 30 like. 
30 like 30 like we need so you do 20 push up done i will going to do it and i will set up the camera so that you will going to see that so if if you so maybe if many people will going to subscribe then i will do so see if five people will going to subscribe to my newsletter should i do 100 push ups not possible not possible so <laughs> okay so see um if if uh, one person subscribe to my newsletter i will do five push ups and uh, with that five push ups if more people will come up and i will again do five push ups then <laughs> let's see so what you need to do you need to subscribe to bitfilms in a newsletter right now for old subscriber this doesn't matter sorry bro <laughs> this game is not going to happen if you are a already subscriber for new subscriber if you are a new subscriber to bitfilms newsletter right uh, first go and subscribe to bitfilms newsletter and then what you do write your name that i have subscribed verify me and do five push up just comment this <laughs> let's see let's see what's going to happen <laughs> okay i'm going to pin the comment for uh bitfilms newsletter thing so just go and subscribe and let's see let's see this <laughs> this is going to be fun this is going to be fun uh no need push up just make a good tutorial in the future that's what i'm going to do but it's going to be fun rivash see <laughs> hey sanjay haven't you subscribed yet Whoa, that's bad, bro. But I'm happy that you now a subscriber. Did you think CICD is worth without testing? Obviously not. Obviously not. <laughs> Why you are doing CICD if you are not at all writing the test? You supposed to play guitar in case of 10 100k. I did it, but I I I have not <laughs> done it live. <laughs> For state management, what will you prefer? Vue.js, Pinia. Pinia is always good. Okay, enough talking. Enough talking. Lot of time waste done. But uh, people, guys, just hit like button so that we can reach 30 like and I will do one more giveaway on this uh, Bitfilms YouTube channel. So, yep. When I say, say this, then Mac OS will give the, the icon. See, like this. <laughs> okay. Let's get back. Woo, a lot of things. Okay, now what next? When I click on login, I want to, to make a simulation of login. So what we can do, when we click on this button, login button, then we should create a session entry, mm, local storage entry. And then if there is uh, some user available in the local storage, then we will say that, okay, you cannot go to login. Uh, you can go to the home page and here instead of login we should show the logout let's create this script and here i'll say create a function called login and in this function i will do something and when i click on this uh, button uh, i need to do the login simple great now here what we do is hey sayyad you subscribe great thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much now it's oh you subscribe for what for newsletter or for between youtube channel <laughs> i'm feeling nervous because i need to do the push-ups i'll do the push-up let me let me finish this login but otherwise people will say hey you're not doing the thing you are supposed to do in this live you are doing all the funny stuff so anyways 30 likes one another free membership will be there and let's see so login uh, window dot uh, local storage dot set item login is true that's good that's good so when I click on login we should see that we will have uh, entry here entry for application uh, local storage let me make it bigger local storage and here we should get login true yes you see this login is true now we need to see once we load this page, load this uh, Nux.js, then we need to check if we have the logged in uh, entry in the local storage. If that is the thing, then we will say user is logged in. Okay, so how do we do that? On the default nav, first of all, I will create a script and I will say 
um const is uh is authenticated uh, hey sayed can you just let me know what your what you are talking about are you talking about the subscription for bitfilms newsletter or the channel anyways <laughs> so now this is going to be a computed or oh, computed or directly can we do window dot local storage dot get item of logged in mm -hmm. okay yeah we can do something like this and then let's log in is authenticated and go to the console now it says is logged in is true now but when i refreshed it it says cannot read the undefined from local storage see Nuxt.js work with server side rendering also. So when you first time reload the page, it does the server side rendering. And in the server, you can't find the window. Is the the meaning of this is we only get this window when we have the process of client. So that's why I say computed property is the thing. And computed property should do something like this, but it's still it's not going to work. Oh, it's working because computed will work on, will work on, on. It's not coming in my mind. Will work on client side. Yes. So it's only going to work on the client side. And now it's no, it's not working on the client side. Boom. So it's not working. Okay. So now I say if process dot client then return this otherwise return false okay now reload it it's working it's working good 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 now if user is authenticated then i would say log out instead of login so we say v if uh, is authenticated and this should be log out and this should be a normal button, nothing else. Okay, and since this is a button, I need to say at click log out and this function I create here and call it function log out window and remove item from uh, log from the local storage. Okay, so this is a simple simulation of login. So now you can see I have log out and I have login also. But for the login, I say this will come V else. If user is not logged in, then only say the login page. Click on log out and reload the page. Yes, now I am logged in. So once the user is logged out, we should redirect to the login page. So right now we can do with Windows window kind of thing. So or when I click on login, then we should move the user to home page. So log out, login, reload, log out. Okay, so things are good. And next we need to, uh, when we log in, so login page is here. And when we log in, then we need to redirect to the home page. But this is not going to work. See, it's not working because we have a middleware and that middleware is preventing us. In the middleware logic, we have something different. Okay, where's the middleware? Here's the middleware. Okay, let's do this middleware thing, but uh, let's focus on some chat thing and see what's going to happen. So Sayed says like uh, he subscribed, but I don't know where he subscribed. So I'm like doing a little cheating until he is uh, making clear that he is subscribed on uh, newsletter or not. Then I'm not going to do the push-ups. Okay, so 19, 20, 20 likes are here on this live. I want 30 likes, then I will do one more giveaway. Yes, one more giveaway when we cross 30 likes, when we cross 30 likes. So 30 likes is your point. Okay, let me just see if uh, Sayed is really subscribed on the newsletter or not. So here is this. I can go to the manage list of Bitfumes list, uh, contacts, um, last seven days contact. Sayed, you are not here. I am safe now. <laughs> I am safe. Yay. So he subscribed to 
द यूट्यूब चैनल नॉट फॉर द न्यूज लेटर दैट्स रियली पावरफुल दैट्स ग्रेट 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 ओके सो स्टेट मैनेजमेंट ओ आई ऑलरेडी आंसर बी यू एक्स इज बिल्ट इन नक्स्ट वाई वी एम्बेड टू यूज पीनिया सो पीनिया इज द न्यू स्टेट मैनेजमेंट टूल अगेंस्ट व्यू एक्स विच इज लिटिल कॉम्प्लेक्स पीनिया इज also using the view 3 uh, you can say composition api and that's make it unique for uh, uh, view 3 and view x also has upgraded version to support the view 3 but it's not that powerful which is pinia is uh, i'm not sure about view x built in with nuxt i need to see what as uh, what they are doing but yeah so that's that's the thing great 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 okay so now what next what next eight people are still watching eight only eight ah no that should should not be the case maybe people are gone just for dinner but if you are still here just make some noise make some noise people make some noise praveen says please if possible ex explain possible now please explain state management and call the state in more than one component that's good okay so with the request of praveen we are going to do this thing and uh, using the state management things and then we will move forward so right now we have 20 likes i want more likes 30 likes for next giveaway please do that next giveaway will be really awesome because when we reach 30 i will give away one more membership for free cool so uh ha huh, let's now use the state okay so right now why we need a state first of all first of all let's see if i can do the process dot client here if that is the case then i say window um, i say is authenticated is equal to um is equal to this thing and it is const so i make it let okay that's good so if i am logged in i'm logged in i'm if i am not logged in then i will go to login page so can i go to the home page okay so i think it cannot hydrated mode see this is hydrated mode uh, mismatch server okay so now it says that in the server that the configuration or the uh, html you have is different than whatever you are getting on the front end because in the front end we are changing something so that's why it's complaining on the server side rendered html and the html we are getting here anyways but is this doing things window dot local storage get item not token logged in and if it is is equal to true okay let's try to go to the home page yes now i can go to the home page uh, and uh, i can go to the login page also but i don't want to go to the login page if i am logged in okay so if i am not logged in then go to the login page but i need to create another uh, middleware called guest 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 wow so yes we are going to use the state management also but we have new person uh korshid hamza hey hamza how are you how are you and where are you from let me know in the comment section or chat section basically where are you from okay so let's now see how many likes we still got is still 20 likes what that's good that's not good people please please help me to give away membership when we reach 30 like i will going to give away the free membership that's the promise that's the promise that's the promise and yes so give just hit like button because that's what i am going to do when we reach 30 like new giveaway for the free membership new free membership giveaway for bitfumes membership <laughs> tank twister <laughs> wow 
So Hamza is from Iraq. Wow, that's great. People are coming from Iraq. That's amazing. And you know what? My mouse just freezed. Oh, it's getting back. It's back. It's back. Okay. When you get 30 like, what's that? Rivaj says, when you get 30 like, give me M3. What's that M3? Rivaj, M3 means? What that M3 means? I didn't get that. <laughs> so right now we have 22 and uh, very soon we will going to get more likes and see what is 22. It's still 22. No, no, no. MacBook M3. Ah. Ah. <laughs> when I get 30 like, I'll get M. I'll give me M3. Rewatch. You are one one step ahead from Tanzim. Tanzim was saying just give away Tailwind UI subscription, and you're saying give M3. I don't have M3. <laughs> M MacBook M3. Whoa, whoa. Fun, fun stuff, fun stuff. I'll call it fun stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the work and uh, people please hit like button if you haven't because we need 30 like to give away the free membership. Let's get back. So now, this is, this is new middleware called guest middleware. And in this, I will say like, if I am logged in, then I will go to the home page. This is the guest middleware and I will apply this guest middleware to our login page and in the login page how do we apply the middleware it's super easy we need to say define uh, meta page meta and in that I will say hey the meta is uh, middleware and the name is guest cool now I can see if I go on the home page and since I am now logged in if I try to visit the login page it refuses it redirect me back to the home page which is really really awesome but you saw that flash of uh, flash of login page that's because the logic of authentication we are doing on the client side it's not yet on the server side and if we have the on the server side that would be really great so see that's the thing we have done we have done here Okay, so next poll. Next poll is uh, people says more people are subscribing to Bitfumes newsletter. That's a really good thing. But I'm going to end this. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to Bitfumes newsletter, go and subscribe to Bitfumes newsletter. And tell me in the comment section if you subscribe right now, I will do five push ups for sure. Okay, so this poll is now ended. And next poll, I will ask you to. Sorry, not now, not now. I will do the polling very soon. And this poll is for is for Node.js. Which Node.js framework you use? Okay, Express or Nest.js or that's it. I, I just give you two options. Which framework you use? Next or Express? Okay, so let's go, let's go and don't forget to hit like button because 30 is the target. 22 is there. We need more, we need more guys, we need more. Okay, let's get back. So as, uh, who was the person? Praveen Kumar was asking about using the estate. We will see how we can use the estate but for now, everything is good. About page, home page, log out. I cannot go to the home page, but I can log in and redirect to the home page. Things are really good, really awesome. I can say awesome, awesome, <laughs> great. Okay, so this is what we did. And uh, yeah, so what next? What should I do next? Should I continue with the documentation or should I do with the with the uh, state management? I think I need to do this poll. Uh, let's end this poll. Uh, I will. I would say another poll is for which. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, read 
docs and follow it add state management to our project and uh, <laughs> uh, okay so that's good start poll poll started now let me know in the poll what is your preference while you are answering while you are answering i would check for likes because i need to give away more membership and uh, it's still 22 people what you're doing it's 22 likes that's not good whoo i think only one poll is there and this is from praveen praveen no yeah i think he is the uh, one who is asking for state management <laughs> okay great great okay so seven people are watching and 22 likes but we need more likes so i think this live is becoming boring isn't it we are it's 9 30 is it your dinner time is it your dinner time please let me know in the comment section why people are leaving is it because of the dinner time or i'm too talkative <laughs> or they want the membership what's that <laughs> okay okay so we have 23 like we are increased in increasing with the likes good 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 great so uh i will read the docs while we are getting more um, more answers on the our, on our poll so see route validation is there next offer route validation via validation page define meta validating the route hmm, that's also a good thing now seo and meta is also there good good so we can add the SEO and meta thing directly inside the next configuration. Superb. Hmm. Also, we can use head. Use head. Nice, nice, nice. Use SEO meta. So what's the difference between use head and use SEO meta? Meta title, uh, meta name content og title oh this one is really better compose composable let you define your site's meta tags on the flag okay this is just for the meta and here you can put anything in the head section whether it's uh, even a script or anything else hmm. okay we will try this once we get more result and uh, then we will try wow so let's see how many likes we have i think we are still going to have 23 and 24 24 like i'm excited great great 24 like that means we are close to 30 and that's that's the point that's the point great we are doing really nice so we have to we have to poll for the polling we have we need more we need more guys and then we will do next component components hmm. so component is uh, for the meta title we can directly use the head tag and in that head tag we can add it reactivity title okay so let's try to use it and then we will add the state management thing for sure and then we will move forward great so first of all i'm trying to add the home page and here use seo meta is the thing or use head so in the head i should add the home page and description title of the home page and without any refresh you can see it's already there home page and if i inspect the source then there has to be this is home page it's not there uh, I know why it's not there because we are not using this this has to give description okay this is not having description meta head tag is meta viewport link 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 lot of links we have 
and head is closing there. We don't have that. No issue. We will see how if we add use SEO meta. And for this, we can add title, home, image. I don't want to add URL not. So let's see. What if I use SEO meta uh, Sarthak? Okay. So see which one is using. It's using the SEO meta. And if I check for this description, this is not coming. Maybe because we are not using server side rendering for this page. What's that? And if I use this use head at below, okay. So whatever it comes last, it will take that. So I will happy with the use SEO meta. Okay. Now comes the configuration for state management. So four vote for state management. Wow. That's really nice. So we are having back, people are back 24 likes. We need more like 30 like and one free membership giveaway will be there. Cool. So chat section is boring because people you are not writing the chat. So if you are new, just say hello, hi, and let me know where are you from. Let's have chat file this live. Otherwise, what is the purpose of having this live live means connecting with you live real time. Okay, so let me search for the state management thing. How I add the state management, I don't want transition. So maybe I can see the list transition data fetching state management, we got the state management. Okay, so in next, to use the state management, you can use the use state composable to create a reactive server side friendly shared state across component. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a ref replace replacement. Okay, how do we use it then? Okay, so we can use use x and use state of x. For example, uh, use state counter, which is uh, creating some counter and it is a value like this. But how do we share it with other component? So use state configuration and call once, which is uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we can also use Pinia. That's good. So next says you can also use Pinia, but you need to add the Pinia. So what do you think? Can we use Pinia directly? Let me know in the chat section if we can use the Pinia or we can try with this uh, use state. Which one is good for you? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, in the chat section, I just uh, say comment section always. Okay, okay, okay. So Praveen says Pinya is good. Pinya. So we are doing everything for P Praveen. So we need to follow Praveen because he is the person who requested for a state management thing. So let's go and add the Pinya. Now it's added. I think follow the instructions. So what is the instruction? Add the Pinya. That's good. Now in the define next config. So here is the next config. It's already there. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. What next? It says create a store website. So I'm going to create a store. A store and then auth.ts. This is going to be authenticated state. Now I'm going to say export const use auth store. Okay. And then I say define store, which is going to come from Pinia. And then I call it uh, auth store. And uh, with a comma, I can have my state. Okay, so state will be like this. And I say is authen uh, authenticated, which is obviously by default false. Mm. Now, 
The point is, do we need to import the define store or not? It's not given here, so we are skipping right now, but how do we use it? So whenever we want to use, we just call this as a hook and then call once. Fetch, okay. So this is a function, fetch. This is the action actually, the action is this. Okay. Hmm. This is the app. Okay, okay, okay. So open the app dot view. Inside this, create a script and say const um, auth is equal to use auth store and uh, then say await uh, call once auth dot fetch fetch user. We don't have the fetch user action, so let's create the action. And uh, I think action will be like this. And what we are doing is if process dot client, then we find out if we have the local storage of uh, logged in, then we say not this dot authenticated, we say authenticated dot value or uh, how do we use it? How do we change something mm, in the action? So maybe in the action I can see, oh, they need to use this dot is authenticated. Now property is authenticated does not exist on the type fetch. Okay. But this is the same thing I did. Mm -mm -mm is equal to true, I can say. Hmm. What the next thing? What is happening here? Because I need to do the actions, not just action. Okay, even doing that, it's giving, complaining about this. We will see if there is any error. Hmm, error is there, I think. This is not loading and is not loading. We can see here on our console. So two times. So maybe if I rerun this dev, what's going to happen? It keep on loading and it says that cannot find pinia dist pinia dot mjs. What? It can't find pinia. Let's see what was the thing. First of all, it need pinia nuxt. So it should be there. Package, package, oops, package dot, dot JSON. Pinion next is there. And then it says override view latest. We are using the view latest. Then Pinion next is also there. Waiting for actions in pages. Hmm, this seems like different thing. Anyways, how many likes we have? We still have 24. Uh -huh. So that's not good. Okay, so. Okay, so here we have done these things, but now we are saying, uh, this is saying like, uh, cannot find Pinya. Can you help me on this? I already installed it. Can I try to do npm install? Now say pinia dist pinia dot mjs required. Let's search for this. Let's search for this. Hmm. Same. Many people are having this error. So it says install pinia. This is crazy. You need to install the Pinia if you are installing the Pinia Next module. That's not good. Sometimes I feel like why people are not that proactive on things. See, it's working. Although it says use store is not defined, use app store. And that's because we need to maybe, I think, import it. 
use app store we exported as a use app store so auth use auth store sorry not app store auth store is there but do we need to really import it always okay so now it says uh, from store import it okay okay so i'm going to import this and say that from my store auth i want to store use auth store and now it says cannot mo find the module stores because it just store not stores huh okay so we are back with this and now things are good let's see if this module have something i can't explore it because it's new to me i'll go with the <laughs> view dev tool right now and find out if i'm having any store here or pinia thing so maybe i need to do something like this and guys remember remember to hit the like button because once we reach 50 what i said 50 no 30 30 likes then we will going to have free membership give away and we have five more likes needed five more like and then this is going to be crazy okay so routing auth store auth store is having authentication to false right now it says false okay but you can see i am logged in that means it's it should be it should be true what it's saying on the authentication so if user is there so i'm not saying user is authenticated so this dot is authenticated is equal to that thing and do not do any other thing now what next so it's still false still false so let's try to log and see um this thing okay now check this console and there is no logging in is it because of this process.client i think yes this is because of it maybe i don't think like that so i'm going to make it true for now and what i'm going to do uh, let's let's just uh, comment this so to just explain that how this store is going to work and how we can use the store data everywhere else right now you see we have a logic of store in the middleware also so let's open the middleware of auth and in this we are using this process client instead can we use can we use our store to use it uh, so i will go on the app just like we did here can we do something like it so it's there and 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 let's do this so auth is there then const auth is saying like i would say like auth is indicated so auth dot is authenticated is going to be the case and try it okay that's good now what if i make it false make it false make it false and yes it's working see it's very easy to use the store and that's what we did we did i think praveen you are happy with this or do you want to see more of the things uh, let me know in the comment section or chat section and then we are going to end this live very soon but i'll end with one <clears throat> with one membership and i want people to like this uh, stream and this uh, youtube live and if you haven't subscribed to bitfumes youtube channel just let me know okay so we have used the we have used the state the pinia pinia state and uh, anything you require anything more you want to do we will going to do in the next uh, live of this next store so Praveen, uh, I think it's super easy. It's very, very easy. Just to import the store, use it, uh, create the new instance and use it. Super, super easy, super duper easy. 
and uh, since we are not using that uh, real authentication system that's why it's uh, not possible to directly use the local storage kind of thing from the the from the application from the store basically okay so we are having 25 like one last free membership and then we will end up this live so let's see who is going to get it last free membership and i think we got something we got something let's let's just wait i got one more subscriber who is the subscriber it's uh, in i think in chinese written <laughs> i don't know what that meaning is but that was really fun that was really fun and i'm going to just uh, scan it and give away free membership and that's once again done from my mobile payment is done and see who is going to get the free membership so let's now wait let's now wait and see who is going to get the free membership <laughs> so this is the day for praveen praveen you are amazing you got this you got this membership congratulations praveen congratulations and uh, welcome to bitfumes uh, membership uh, program where you will get uh, free uh, not free <laughs> you will get early access to the videos uh, some behind the scene and uh, also some special discount coupon in the future if we have uh, the new paid courses thank you praveen thank you very much and uh, you see this, this is your lucky day this is your lucky day <laughs> okay i'm going to end this stream end this live and uh, i know it's 27 like i want the 30 like but i want to close this stream so i closed it with one uh, one uh, free membership and uh, uh, that's good ending the poll and uh, people if you haven't subscribed to bitfumes newsletter link is on the chat section at the top click there and you'll going to get it looking forward to more about nuxt and view sure uh, sure praveen we will do that and all the things will be on the stream 90 minutes are done one and half hour i'm sitting here and i need water 27 like four three three free membership and this was another successful stream whoa i'm going to end this thank you everyone for watching for staying with me and we will again come back soon with another thing and a lot of free membership and a lot of fun on this chat and saying you bye bye